This is going to be our proper how to install MeanROM 4.4 on the Evo 4 GLTE. If you're S on, you may have had trouble before with installing custom ROMs because you can't install a custom kernel while you're in recovery. A way to solve that is to go to the Google Play Store and search for flash image GUI and it's just a dollar. I'll go ahead and buy it now. Awesome. Now we have it on the device. What you would do is open it up and it's going to ask for root permission. We are on a completely stock ROM right now with root permission. The same ROM that I installed just yesterday. Granted root permission. HTC locks the internal memory, which prevents the flashing of custom kernel recoveries. Completing the HTC unlock method or a third party method will unlock the internal memory. Please confirm you have locked internal memory before continuing. If you're S on and you run the HTC unlock method, or if you're S off like I am, then you just press yes. And here you would just choose the default kernel option and press browse. And then go down to mean ROM 44. And it's going to take this and it's going to find the kernel that's in there. You just press yes. And this can take a while because it is a pretty big ROM. Alright, it found the kernel that was in it. You would just press flash. And then it's going to say yes. And you would reboot to recovery and immediately install the ROM. You do not have to do this any longer. Hoss X has created an S on installer and MeanROM is using that on his ROM. So even if you're S on HTC Dev Unlocked, you can actually install the full ROM while you're in recovery because he has that feature included with his ROM. Also, you're going to need to have the very latest version of Twerp Recovery. Goo Manager is an app available in the Google Play Store. Granted root permission. Press menu, install open script recovery, press yes, and then press yes again. Wait for it to count down. And now in the notification bar, you'll see that it's currently downloading the recovery. It's a small file, so it doesn't take long at all. All right, it's done. You won't have to do anything. See right there, it said installing recovery. Recovery has been installed. You now have the very latest recovery. If you don't want to use Google Manager or you're having trouble with it, Flash Image GUI will also install the latest recovery for you, but you have to actually manually put the file on your SD card or internal memory. You would just choose recovery, don't choose anything else, press browse, and it put that file in our Goo Manager folder, and there it is, open script recovery. Just press flash image, and right here's the final sanity check to make sure you're flashing the correct file. 2220 Jewel. Evo 4GL to E is named Jewel. Just press yes. And that's how you do it. I will link to the twerp page so you can manually download that file, put it on your internal or external memory, and then open up Flash Image GUI and flash it. Or just use Goo Manager. That's two methods right there. Since this is a stock ROM, we do not have a reboot to recovery option. You could use Goo Manager, and there is a flash to recovery option. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it manually. I'm just gonna hold the power button down and force it to reboot. Alright, now we gotta hold volume down and power. There we go. From here, you just press volume down to get to recovery and press power. There you go. The benefit to Twerp Recovery is you can also charge your device while you're in recovery. We have the phone hooked up to the computer, so while we're installing this ROM, our phone will also be charging. And at this time, you can also press mount, and you can choose whether you want to mount the internal or external SD card to your computer. To install this ROM, what I highly recommend doing is downloading SuperWipe and installing that while you're in recovery. But we currently don't have that on the SD card, so we're just going to do it manually. First of all, we're going to back up the current ROM on here. System, data, boot. I'm not going to choose recovery because if you install a later recovery like 2230 or something, this will keep restoring the older recovery and you'll keep having to install the new recovery. So I'm not going to do that. In cache, that will rebuild itself when you boot anyway. So, and a lot of people wipe that. So I wouldn't even worry about it. You can if you want to. Enable compression. Yes, that will create a smaller file size. You do not want to skip the MD5 generation because an MD5 verifies that what you backed up is exactly what you'll be restoring. And then if I was you, 
I would definitely choose the external SD card for backing up your ROM. If you don't have an SD card in, just choose the internal, that's fine. But we're gonna choose the external. Also, we can take the external SD card, put it on the computer, and transfer the Torp folder to Dropbox or whatever we need to to keep it backed up and safe. In case something wipes our phone down the line, we can just put our Torp folder back on there and restore everything. Set backup name, I'm gonna do stock with root. And then press go. Final sanity check, swipe to back up. All right, now our entire device is backed up. If you install a ROM that you don't like, if you mess something up, or for any reason at all, if you need to go back to what you had before, you will be able to restore it easily. Just go to the restore option and then press on it and swipe to restore. It's that simple. After we back up our ROM, we're gonna go to wipe. Also, if you wanna know how long all this took, just pay attention to the clock at the top left of the screen. Also, you'll notice that the battery was charging the entire time we were doing this. Cause backing up a synth ROM can take a very long time. We're gonna do a factory reset and swipe to wipe. Now it's gonna be resetting the ROM. If you don't do this, and if you try to install one ROM on top of another, you're gonna have nothing but trouble, trust me. Go back. It's not necessary. Some people tell you to wipe cache, dial it cache. A factory reset does all of that. Go back, install, and then make sure you're choosing the internal storage, if that's where you put it. And then go down here to the bottom, and you'll see MeanROM ICS 4.4. Obviously, you'll be able to install 4.5, 4.6, 4.7, 4.8, 4.9, etc. The same exact way you're installing this right now. Just take the newer file and put it on your internal or external SD card and continue with this video. Make sure that the correct file is on the top. If you're wanting to flash anything else, just press add more zips and you'll choose them. Aw. And at this point, everything looks good, so we'll swipe it to flash it. Again, I'm gonna repeat myself. MeanROM now has XHOS X's S on kernel installer, so you shouldn't have to use Flash Image GUI, Fastboot, or Dumblock to install it anymore. At this point, you're pretty much free to reboot the system. I've had my SGS3 for a little while now, so I haven't been using this phone, and when I was using it, I was trying out the Cyanjimon 10 unofficial builds, where several things are still very broken. If you want a full featured ROM, I highly recommend checking out MeanROM ICS. It has taken a lot of work to get to the point it's currently at right now. It doesn't boot to dialer. A lot of the issues that were present before are fixed. Also, there should be quick settings, which the new base took away, but he added back to it. I will put a link in the description to download the Super Wipe Zip. In the video that I posted yesterday installing the stock ROM, you'll basically just go into recovery. When you go to install ROM, you'll choose the Super Wipe, and then where it says add more zips, you'll press that, and you'll choose the Mean ROM. So it'll flash the Super Wipe first, and then it'll unflash Mean ROM. And at that point, you do not have to do a factory reset when you're installing this ROM, because the Super Wipe is essentially wiping everything that it needs to besides your internal and external SD card. Update your recovery, reboot into recovery, back up your current ROM, choose install ROM, choose Super Wipe, click add more zips, choose the mean ROM, and then swipe to flash. It'll Super Wipe your phone, then it'll immediately install mean ROM, and then you'll push reboot to system. As always, first boot will take the longest. Looks like it's about to boot up. One of the first things you'll notice is that the battery bar has changed since my last video. There's no TeleHTC screen. He does not include that with this ROM. Now the phone is set up and ready to go. Mean ROM now comes with Google Now, which is a jelly bean feature, but it's working on ICS and he's included it with his ROM. There are updates that he's checking into for Google Now and more than likely you can expect them to be in the latest Mean ROM that comes out here shortly. He updates Mean ROM on a regular basis, constantly fixing bugs, adding more features. Of course, with this newest ROM, it comes with OTA Updater, so if your ROM has an update, this will notify you that an update is available. You'll just click on it, and it will download that to your internal storage, and you'll be able to reboot in recovery and update your ROM without touching a computer. Google Now is right here. 
Just press next, next, next. Yes, I'm in. And you can ask it whatever you want to ask it. How tall is Obama? Barack Obama is six feet one inch tall. What is Eminem's real name? Eminem's full name is Marshall Bruce Mathers III. What is Rick Ross's real name? Rick Ross's full name is William Leonard Roberts II. What is 9 times 123 divided by 6? The answer is 184.5. Again, Google Now has been updated and he will be incorporating that into his future ROMs. You can ask it, what's the weather? Did the Titans win? Yes, the Titans beat the Lions 44-41. When do the Kansas City Chiefs play next? The Chiefs are playing the Chargers on Sunday at 12 p.m. There is a whole lot of things you can do with Google Now, and you don't have to have Jelly Bean in order to use it. Of course, this is the menu button. Well, it's actually recent apps. Hmm. You can probably change it in the settings, though. Yes, you can, right there. Awesome. It says right here, recent apps button. Press for menu. Press and hold for recent apps. Now when you press menu, you have the settings right there. So it's a little different than before, but it still works. And that's based off of the Sense 4.1, and I'll show you that real quick too. About phone, MeanROM ICS 4.4, we'll click software information, and there you go. Sense 4.1, Android 4.04. And with future updates, he will be including kernels as well. This one does not come with a kernel, it is the stock rooted kernel. Also, you'll want to make sure that you have the newest radios. I have a video, and I'll link to it in the description of this video. It'll have all the links you need to update your radios to the latest version if you're S off. If you're S on, you're going to need to relock your bootloader, run the RUU, or apply the official update, unlock again, root again, install custom recovery again. It's a little bit messier than having S off, but it's still doable. If you like this video, please do me a huge favor and give it a thumbs up. It's just a little click, but it goes a long way, and I appreciate all the support. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button. For now, my wife's using this phone because I need to make some more Galaxy Nexus videos. She does want to go back to her Galaxy Nexus, and when she does, I will be updating my review of this ROM. Because if you go to Quadrant, from what I've heard, this ROM is capable of getting scores of 6,000 or higher. Alright, as you can tell, well, I'll stop them actually. I'm gonna go ahead and reboot the phone. Oh, there we go. As you see, you do get the restart. Bootloader recovery. Open it, and then I'm going to run this. I'm going to fast forward through it because this video is already kind of long. Keep in mind, we've changed no settings. Have not changed CPU performance. This is coming from a fresh install. Let's see what kind of scores we get. 5,576. Not bad at all. In all honesty, this phone does smoke the SGS3 in performance. And if you want to back up your phone the way it was, hopefully you made a batch backup before installing this ROM. Make sure that it's set to scan the external SD card where all of our stuff is. Yes, right there. SD card and then external SD card. We can just press the batch button. Restore missing apps with data is what I... This is kind of a controversial subject. If you read Mikey's LP, he suggests that you only restore apps that you absolutely have to restore. Like for example, SwiftKey, if you have 50,000 keystrokes like me and like 97,000 custom words saved, that's something you might want to restore. If it's an app that's insanely hard to set up like Handset SMS, there's a million different settings. You can actually restore that as well. So just press deselect all and make sure that you only choose the ones that would take you forever to set up normally. 
or that aren't available in the Play Store or something, just be careful because restoring data from a different ROM can cause problems and you'll need to reinstall your ROM again and then just press the little checkbox once you selected the ones you actually want. Alright, this video is over with. Again, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I'm out.